for me, it's extremely important to have this sequence, some kind of commitment and then a small test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly how the bullish case would look like in this scenario. So slightly maybe like up sloping um, move here and kind of reminds me a little bit of this. Uh, so see how, you know, we are going up, stopping, reacting, then supply goes down, then we're coming back again, the test seems to be okay, then uh, uh, touching it again, and then we're breaking. So we need to overcome this uh, slightly upsloping channel, that's number one, and do it, uh, you know, my expectation here is that we're gonna come here to around 18.5, 18.6, and then supply is gonna emerge again, like we've done here, compared to, let's say this, and then we've done here. So we're doing it again here. We might do this somewhere here, and then just see, could we break through? Could we break through 18.5? Could we break through this channel? Uh, the bullish scenario would be breaking slightly through, coming back, as Alyssa said, into the test, and then confirming that with the, another break. Um, that's a bullish scenario. The bear scenario is just like, you know, exactly what we've seen right here in this area.